This is a demo video for the Yamaha YC30 combo organ. These were made starting in 1970 through the mid-70s, uh, and it was their answer to like the Vox and Farfisa combo organs that were popular in the 60s and 70s. Uh, this is a unit I've owned for over 20 years. It's currently for sale, so I'm going to go through some of the features and sounds and any issues with this particular unit so you can see what it's like. Uh, first of all, I will say that any electronic instrument that's 40 plus years old like this one, the components inside over time can degrade uh, or change their value uh, and may lead to some uh, issues with it. This one is actually in really excellent condition, both physically and playable, uh, playability. Um, but one thing I will mention is that the sound, while pretty clean and quiet at normal volume, when you turn it all the way up to 10, you will hear a little leakage of the tone generators from the draw bars coming through, even with no keys depressed. At a normal stage volume of six or seven, uh, when you're playing, you don't really hear it. Uh, so I don't find that it's an issue, uh, but just want to put it out there that it does that. Uh, the sound of these organs is typically bright and you'll recognize it from songs that you've heard from the 60s and 70s. <laughs> That's a pretty happy, fun tone. Like a Hammond organ, there are a couple sets of drawbars here, and you can switch between drawbar one and drawbar two. There's drawbar two, drawbar one. But unlike Hammond, you can actually blend fluidly between them with this balance control, which is pretty neat. It allows you a lot more tonal possibilities. Also on the second drawbar, there's this bright lever that uh, gives you some cool tone shaping for that second draw bar as well. Uh, also, unlike most of the other organs, instead of just having two draw bars and maybe some other voice presets, there are actually two more draw bar presets with a full set of draw bars in miniature. So over here we've got preset one, and now we've switched over to the draw bar one setup. And then preset two kicks on the second set of draw bars, and it's got all the same controls that the master set has, which is pretty neat. Um, next, let's move over here to the master section. So you've got a pitch control. Uh, I have not found that this instrument drips at all, but it does have this variable uh, pitch to tune the instrument. So if you need to tune with other instruments or set at the concert pitch, um, there you go. This is the master volume. We've got a, a bass volume. So if you want to kick on a bass voice, there's a set of 16 and 8 foot draw bars just for the bass. So on these reverse keys, you can switch that to bass, or you can just have it be an extension of the other draw bar settings throughout the entire keyboard. Um, there is also a, an interesting feature called manual sustain. So on the eight foot draw bar, we can add the sustain. And we turn the volume up. And you'll hear this kind of long decay. It gives kind of a string bass effect. I also find when I use that, there's this high pitch that comes through. So I don't typically use that feature, but it's interesting that it was included on this instrument. Um, the vibrato on this instrument sounds awesome. So there's the vibrato. You can choose the depth and the speed. With those controls. This touch vibrato effect, I've never gotten it to do anything. I'm not sure if I know how to operate it. I have lifted the lid on this before and I noticed there are lamps and probably photo diodes or something uh, that detects light. So maybe motion of the keys makes some vibrato effect. Not sure. Not sure how it works or if it's just not working on this instrument. Uh, similarly, there is a swell control pedal down here that's part of the instrument. Uh, it's not like a typical volume pedal that t cuts the volume all the way off. <laughs> It just kind of gives a little boost, like a swell control does on an organ, um, to the sound. 
So next we've got some other voices and effects here. There is a fuzz tone that sounds pretty awesome. <laughs> It's really nasty. You can get that kind of deep purple tone out of it. Uh, if you get beyond two, like fifths and fourths sound awesome, but if you start playing uh, larger chords, it gets kind of, pardon the pun, a little fuzzy uh, because of the way the overtones are generated with that fuzz effect. Uh, fifths and fourths especially sound awesome. More single note stuff. Uh, like a Hammond, there are some attack and percussive settings. So it adds a little bell-like ding to the sound when you add that uh, attack. There's a normal and a fast. So that's the fast. And you can hear the normal has a little longer decay on that sound. Uh, the percussive effect. There's the percussion. There's fast. There's normal. Um, that attack, you can also press this button, extends it down to the bass keys that normally don't have uh, that. That only works when you don't have the, the bass uh, voice on those keys. And the marimba voice is pretty interesting. So there's a repeat sound. You can have a high or a low voice, and then you can control the, the speed of that repeat. Uh, and then finally, probably my favorite feature of any organ that I've ever seen is the portamento. So this voice has its own three drawbars, and it's controlled by this three-octave velvet strip. So it has that Theremin 60s sci-fi B-movie kind of sound. Really fun to play. Tons of vibe. Sounds awesome if you run it through some delay. I've never seen another instrument. Some other Yamaha instruments had it, but it is very unique and... It's certainly uh, a crowd pleaser when you play it live. Uh, so those are all the main controls and features of the organ. Uh, some other things I will mention about this particular unit is that I have bypassed the volume or the uh, the master on switch. The power switch stopped working a few years ago, so I've just bypassed it, meaning that you plug it in to turn it on, and it's always on. It has a cool little jewel lamp there, um, and. Then underneath here, besides this super cool chrome stand, uh, there's a little hatch up here that stores the swell pedal and cables. The latch system on that, there's a piece that broke off. It will close and lock, but to open it back up, uh, I need to use screwdrivers to get it open. Um, but it's handy to have. I usually store the pedal up in there because I don't use it. Uh, normally anyway. I use an external volume control pedal. But there's also the output jack. Uh, that's a voltage control uh, switch that switches the uh, power supply between uh, U.S. and international voltage. And the mains fuse. I don't think I've ever blown the fuse on this. It's been a pretty steady instrument. So there you have it. That is the Yamaha YC30 combo organ. I hope that the next owner of this instrument enjoys it as much as I have. Thanks for watching.